Hey guys, it's Brian the Shaving Geek here with another episode of my Shave of the Day. Actually, it's Brian, a chilly shaving geek here uh, with another episode of my Shave of the Day. Um, this weekend we had temperatures up in the 80s, maybe even close to 90, and uh, all of a sudden now we're back in the 40s and 50s. <laughs> I gotta love this time of year, uh, just bizarre. Uh, who would have thought? First week of June, and uh, got to break out the sweatshirt, thinking about kicking on the furnace, and uh, so that affected my shave today because I had some items picked out, and uh, then I was like, "Man, it is chilly, and I need something to warm me up," and so I totally changed um, my shave today, and uh, so let's get right to it. Uh, today I got back out uh, this recent uh, acquisition, or I guess. I don't know if you would say an acquisition, but uh, this arrival to my den, uh, this uh, rubber set um, 507 that uh, I had recently redone with um, uh, a Nathan Clark uh, Badger Knot. This was done by Thomas Burgess, and I tried using it yesterday, but the uh, soap, uh, as you may recall, the relaxation from Soap Commander is such a uh, delicate scent that the funk in this um, knot just really was overpowering it. And so... Uh, I switched to my synthetic. I still pick up some of the funk in this still a little bit, but it's not quite as bad. And the soap I used today is definitely a little bit more of a robust scent. And so it masked it. And so it worked out very well. This just feels very nice on the face. Um, I, I would say that as, as knots go, it's a little bit on the floppy side, uh, but I've really gotten used to that and kind of come to enjoy that a little bit more than I used to. Uh, because of my use of the Poisson. So really glad to have this and uh, just going to be uh, a nice uh, brush to have in my rotation. For my razor today, I got out my Slim. It's been a little bit since I've had this out um, and uh, have it out of four as I do with most of my adjustables. And it really was a nice shave today. I don't find the Slims to be an awesome razor for me. They're not um, a bad razor for me. Um, they're just, eh, uh, they're okay. Um, I, I get a good shave. Is it the best shave that I get? No. Is it the most comfortable shave that I get? No. And it's kind of weird because the a toggle is an awesome uh, shaver for me. I enjoy the Fat Boy uh, more than I do the Slim. But the Slim is just an okay razor for me. Glad to have it in my den. Glad to have it as part of my adjustable lineup. I've got the Black Beauty as well. Um, but uh, it doesn't get a whole lot of play in my in my uh, um, shaving lineup just because it's just an okay razor for me. And today that was the case. Wasn't uh, something that um, really impressed me, but it did the job, did it adequately, and I didn't tear up my face. And so any day you have a shave like that, it's a good day. Loaded with a uh, Lord Extra, the super stainless blades that uh, Pete Scavoni uh, got me... Um, uh, kind of interested in and they work very well for me. It was shave number four on that blade I'm gonna push the shave five kind of see what happens and uh, we'll kind of roll the dice on that for my um, For my soap today. I got out the Ann Bonnie from uh, Dr. John's this stuff is just phenomenal Whew. Oh, I love it. It's, it's just a little bit of a different take on Bay Rum definitely still a Bay Rum um, but the black tea uh, that's in it, the lime, just really rounds out that Bay Rum experience for me. And I just absolutely love it. Right now, my favorite Bay Rum soap. And I really, really enjoy using it. And uh, just a nice, whew, oh, a nice robust scent and uh, just a joy to use. Loads easily, lathers easily, and just uh, a all around just great performing soap. Love the labeling on this. Um, John Eplin has just done such a phenomenal job on that. And so uh, just glad to have this in my den. I actually picked up a whole nother tub of this from my brother yesterday. And uh, so I shouldn't say tub, tin is the, the proper terminology. But glad to have it in my den. But this is the uh, tub, uh, the tin that he had given me um, previously. Oh, man, I love that stuff. It's just so good. And uh, so was glad to use this today. And uh, really the whole, whole reason why I, I changed things up and went with the uh, Anne Bonnie today is because I wanted the, the burn. I wanted the warming of the cat of nine tails today. And uh, so I went with it and it didn't disappoint. Whew. Oh man, that's good stuff. I just absolutely love Captain's Choice. Really do. 
Uh, my only complaint with Captain's Choice is that it, the scents don't last very long. I wish they would last a little bit longer, but uh, just a great bay rum scent. And this cat of nine tails with that warming, uh, that burn, but not over the top is just, it was a great way to end the shave on a chili. Chilly June 1st morning. So that was my shave today. Really, really enjoyed it from start to finish. Uh, my rubber set 507. Um, my slim adjustable on a four with a uh, Lord um, extra blade in it. And then I used the uh, Ann Bonnie soap and the Captain's Choice Cat of Nine Tails. One last thing, I just wanted to dispel any notions that my brother's picture on the shave market had any validity whatsoever. Still a Bengals fan, still a diehard fan. I've just learned my lesson, never take a nap in a chair at my brother's house. So anyhow, this is Brian the Shaving Geek reporting live from my shave den, wishing you a lifetime of happy shaves. Have a great day, everybody.